I haven't been to Speedway forever, and so I just didn't know. <clears throat> yeah, it looks weird. Hold on, we're like we look we look kind of off today. Okay. Do I need to move it? Is it because maybe I need to? Clean oh, no, I think the... I think we're all right. I just I think it was a we Sorry. were just not centered. Okay. Okay. Hi, Hi. everybody. Hello. <clears throat> We don't want to watch it on our TV, Facebook. That's actually the Apple TV thing. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. It just reminds you that you can cast this uh, onto your TV. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks for the reminder. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Hi, everybody. We're going to talk about how much uh, the government sucks again. <laughs> Surprise! Seems to be a frequent topic. Of Surprise, everybody! We did not realize this is happening in our own state, and we did not even realize it until today. Yeah, um, Indianapolis. That as part of our governor's May 1st executive order, which outlined the phases of opening here in Indiana, mm -hmm. I didn't know this, but uh, we cannot get our own coffee or I mean, fountain drinks yeah, at a, a gas, gas station. station. Yeah, you can't do that. You have to have somebody do it for you. Which I'm sure some people are delighted to have somebody serve them, but I like to just go in and get my own damn coffee. Right? Or your own, like if you just get a fountain drink and you, yeah. you know how much ice you want, uh -huh. you know what's, you know what I mean? You like getting your own crap. You like being able to get your own coffee fixins. Yeah. You know, doing your coffee the way you like to do it. Plus, there, there now there's a weight involved. I'm always in a hurry. Especially I like to, when you get, yeah. That, I like yeah. to get my own coffee and get my butt out of there. And it, it's usually early in the morning because we work really early. And I like to get in and get out. This, it's, this is madness. <laughs> That's one part of it. Second part of it is in Indianapolis, the city, our mayor, he is saying, okay, so um, hair, hair salons yeah. and barbers, they can't open today. So like restaurants and stuff, and I'll get to that in a second. Restaurants can't open, sort of. But um, barbershops and hair salons can't open, which totally sucks. I don't understand. I don't understand that at all because, like, on the south side and the north side where I live and she lives, they're open already because I went and got my hair done earlier in the week. Praise be. <laughs> and so people can drive. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you can. I can drive to her house. She's 52 miles away from me. I'm, I'm south side. She's north side. And then the, the city's in between us. Well, what's more is you can walk. You can literally. Yeah. There's like a mile marker where if you're on this side of it, you can't get your hair cut. If you're on this side of it, you can get your it's hair cut. It's madness. <laughs> it's just madness, right? So, that, so, so that's happening. And then if you're a restaurant, you can open, but only for outdoor seating, right? And if you have, like for patio seating, so if you have patio seating. But the clincher is you have to get a permit. So you have to pay. If you don't a, already have patio if seating. If you don't already have patio seating, you have to pay for a permit. You have to pay the freaking government for a permit to get this patio seating, which I would imagine a lot of people are going to get workarounds and, and put like umbrellas and, you know, like those big things. Like canopies and whatnot. Um, what do they call those things? Awnings. Thanks, thanks. I'm sorry, I haven't had enough coffee. <laughs> those and stuff. They're gonna get those. Like that business is gonna boom, and they're gonna get those and put makeshift patios in their parking lots. I bet you this is what a lot of people are gonna do. They'd and, still have to permit, though. Yeah, of course they have to permit. They have to pay the government to do this because they can't have dining wow. inside where they already have <laughs> a business. Can you believe this garbage? I can believe it. It's just garbage. one more way for the government to take your money right now without you actually being able to run your business. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's unbelievable what they're doing to these wow. people. So it's like, no, you can't open your business, but you can, but you got to pay us. That you got to, so cha-ching. <laughs> oh my God. I'm outraged at our government. Just outraged. <laughs> this is unreal. It's, it's crazy. It's unreal what they're Absolutely doing to crazy. people. And this, I just didn't even know because it's been so long since I've been inside a gas station to get, I mean, you know, I just haven't been doing that. But I used to be like a big time Speedway stopper because they have really good coffee. Yeah. And I, I love no gas idea. station. Gas station coffee is the best. Yeah, because you can just do it the way that you want. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. now they're showing pictures on this one article out of Rushville, Indiana, of like a convenience store worker getting someone's coffee and asking the questions how full do you want it do you want it to the brim do you want any sugar added blah yeah so somebody's having to do it for you somebody which... asked if we heard the news from wisconsin you were just telling me oh, yeah. about that yeah so <laughs> the big pictures on a uh, daily mail this morning are people partying down in wisconsin mm -hmm. bars yeah because there was a uh, a judge struck down <laughs> the governor's order 
and said, you can't do that. You can, and in fact, not only can you not do that, bars and restaurants, you just open right now. And they all did. And like, people were like, woo, drinking, cheering, you know, everybody's all excited. Yeah. So this is uh, kind of amazing that yeah. this happened in Wisconsin. Yeah, they're just like, you know what, up yours, government. <laughs> up yours, <laughs> yeah. I mean, people are sick and tired. Did you guys see the Barstool Sports president, the founder, uh, Dave Portnoy's video? It's on our website, chicksontheright.com. You, you need to check it out, it. yeah. He has totally had it. He's saying all the things that we basically, like that we say. Yeah, yeah he's I mean, saying, he's just over it. He's a little more colorful. <laughs> and so, I mean, he's like basically my spirit animal today. Cause I'm, it, it's just, it, he's saying all the things. Yeah, well, cause I mean, he's making the point that we were told when this all started that this was only about flattening a curve. Totally days to flatten the curve uh -huh. it's about keeping our hospitals not overwhelmed yeah. making sure there's space blah and uh -huh. we did that and now he, he compared it to a flight that you think is six hours and you get to five and a half hours in and then all of a sudden they tell you oh they yeah, that we didn't mean it. it's like yeah. 10 more hours to go yeah that's what this is like and then maybe we'll change that yeah so you maybe you, you may be on here forever we've done all the things yeah right and we've been compliant and uh -huh. willing and voluntarily changing and yeah. uprooting our lives and now no, we're done. <laughs> we're being held hostage. Right. We're being held hostage in this thing. And it's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. It's just not right. God. It's, it's not right, you guys. Control. It's just not right. And I'm fighting with someone on Twitter this morning about masks again. Because there's a great link from the Center of Infectious Disease or whatever who did a study on cloth masks and the efficacy of cloth masks that everybody's wearing now. And they basically discovered in the study, I know this is shocking to everybody, that they don't work. That they're, they're not effective in either preventing small particles from reaching you, the wearer, or preventing small particles from getting out of you onto someone else. They're yeah. not effective. Yeah. And so this guy is like, you're going to put lives at risk if you don't wear masks. And this is something simple that you can do to help the public well if you are afraid of being near me then don't freaking get near me yeah okay if I'm not wearing mask I'm not asking you to get within just six feet. don't leave your house don't leave your house don't leave your house the rest of us are ready to yeah. go and live our lives because uh -huh. we've been leaving our house for the past two months yeah we, we've been leaving our respective homes and going to work every day and it's fine it's fine. I just, I'm not living my life in fear. I've, we've been working in, in the office with other people. Right next to each other. Like all the time. All the time. <laughs> every day. For the past two months. You know, people have been giving us crap about not social distancing, you know. And she ha has a kid that had it. So we, you know, we, we're fine. <laughs> we're all right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be out, okay. Out know? of control. Yeah. So this guy starts sending me all the links back to other studies that say, yeah, absolutely, they're super helpful in preventing people from spreading their stuff. So, okay, so for every link you send me, I will send you one back and we'll just have all these scientists fighting. You know why? Because no one knows. No one actually knows why we're doing this. No. It's, and not even the experts, as we've pointed out. Dr. Fauci has changed his mind on masks and so has the Surgeon General. So many times. So many times that it, I cannot trust anything that they say. Mm -mm. And on our regular show today, which is from 9 to 11 on WIBC.com, we're going to be playing a voicemail from someone who's very, very angry <laughs> with us about this, and particularly you, because you used to work at Lilly, and so you should know better. Oh, I should know better. And, okay. And so we're going to play, the, this dude is out of control. Really? Um, okay. We've well, got some doozy voicemails to play today. Well, I mean, I did used to work at a pharmaceutical company, so I understand a little bit about science. Yeah. And I know that, you know, you can't, listen, we can't wait around for a virus to be cured. <laughs> That's not, that's not. That's what the LA mayor said yesterday too. You can't, Did you see that? That's not what this is about. And people who are over, at Lily Wright, they also understand that. They know that that's not the case. This is, this is not about, they know that it, this was about flattening the curve and it's not about curing this thing. Which you we know? may never do. Even if you get a vaccine, it's not about curing it. That's not what this is about. And so now all of a sudden the talking heads are like, we have to cure it for you to go out of your house. Really? Because no. That's not, we're, we're probably, there's no, we're probably not going to make this go away. You know, this is not, that's not how this works. I, I don't know, this, that's not what a vaccine does. That's not what it does. So actually I do understand the science. That's, that's not what a vaccine is for. <laughs>
I mean, some vaccines have eliminated disease. But you know what I mean. But, but, but this one. But respiratory illnesses like this, mm -hmm. you get a flu vaccine, you get a 30% coverage exactly. rate. Exactly. Maybe. I if get, you're lucky. I get, yeah, I get the flu shot every single year. I still have gotten the flu probably twice in the past, what, 10 years. Yeah, I mean, it's... And that's probably going to happen with this. People understand that, right? It's probably, it's, it's probably, we, there are lots of coronaviruses, you know? This is just one coronavirus. I just, I think people think that this is going to go away forever and ever, and it probably won't. We well, are when so you have mayors like of cities saying we're not going to open until there's a cure, I, can you imagine? So that's the L.A. mayor, and what happened in the L.A. special election yesterday should be sending him a pretty big message because a Republican won in L.A. County I mean, are, are we gonna, in a special election, you guys. Imagine if they said, like, we can't leave our homes unless there was a cure for AIDS, unless there was a cure for cancer, unless there was a cure for, like, all these things. Imagine if they said that to us. Would, would, pe would people still have the same fear and still be sitting in their homes? Well, that's, I think, why, you know, I'm Dave just, Portnoy, among many others, is just like, okay, you told us one thing. Now you're totally moving the goalposts. Yeah. This is not okay. I mean... Listen, and so that, I mean, yikes. The pharmaceutical industry is probably going to find something really awesome. There's probably going to be a vaccine for this. Maybe even a couple. I don't know. There are a lot of people racing right now. A lot of companies racing to get vaccines for this. And there may be awesome medication. There's going to be, I'm sure, awesome medications for this particular virus. But, you know, it, it's, it takes time. It's probably, yeah, it takes time. And then once that comes out, you still have to figure out how do we distribute it? How does it, it's not going to be like, just like that, we're all going to get this vaccine and then we're all going to be cured. I just don't think it's going to go down that way. I no. don't think that's what's going to happen. I think that, you know, it probably will be a lot like the flu vaccine where some people still may get it. And it's interesting the way that Florida, Georgia have opened and they're actually seeing their some fine results, right? Like they're not exploding. There's no surge in new cases. They're doing just fine. And yet they're the ones that are getting negative attention in the press while places like New York, which Cuomo was a disaster in New York City, especially with the nursing homes, right? He's getting all the accolades, which I don't understand. Well, you know, it, it just you makes should, zero you should sense. understand it because it, we have a liberal media. Yeah. That's so true. that's why he's getting all the accolades. That is and, true. And they're, they're literally blaming the fact that people are dying from a virus on our president. And I don't understand, like, I don't, listen, even if it were a Democrat president and I hated the guy, which I didn't even hate Obama because he was, for the fact, the mere fact that he was a Democrat, I, I just didn't like his policies. I would never blame a virus on a human being. <laughs> Unless it's they a, were from China. It's and then that's fine. Yeah, but I mean, it's, <laughs> it's absurd. Like, like, there's no logic in that. You don't blame this on one person. He can't stop a virus. The guy's not God. Like, what are they doing? You can, it, Isn't that... Do you well, somebody even in one of our lives earlier this week was like, why can't Trump just stop this virus already? Because And he, I'm like, what? what? Like, what is I, wrong with that's you? That's not how What is wrong works. with you? He can't do that. That's not how it works. And the government can't do it either. And so for people looking to our government to stop this, you put way too much stock in the government. They're just people. <laughs> that's all they are. <laughs> Good Lord. And there, a lot of them aren't real smart. Did you guys see that restaurant in Virginia that's putting mannequins in the seats so that it looks yeah less it's awkward? Kind of creepy. It makes it more awkward. It makes it what, so much more awkward. What happens guys? if you go up to him? Because I can see you. <laughs> I can see you walking up to a table of mannequins and like, like hug assaulting them. No, I wouldn't because I don't do that to even regular people. I mean, right I, I now don't, I don't bother people in restaurants. You don't? Okay. I don't. Like, but what would happen if somebody walked up and sat down next to the mannequins? Would they get in trouble? Um, like in this day and age? I, what don't, a, I don't even know. I just don't understand why this is even a thing. Like why because, a rest, no, Nothing is going to feel awkward about a restaurant at 50% capacity because we all know why they're doing it. Yeah. And we're just like, okay, whatever. They, want you, to to feel, they want you to feel like it's full. <laughs> Maybe they're trying. But the <laughs> oh my God, yes, I do. Remember the movie I Am Legend? Mm. Yeah, the vaccine did kill everybody. I thought you were maybe going to say that, like, in the in the movie I Am Legend, he talked to that mannequin every day. <laughs> Do you remember that? That he was went, not a mannequin. That was an actual robot. No, no. In I Am Legend, Will Smith, oh! when everybody's dead, everybody's gone, and there's a mannequin in the movie store, and he went in and he would talk to that mannequin yes, that's every right, single day. That's, right. that's what I thought you were going to say, and he didn't. <laughs> he was talking about God. It was like much I'm worse. not talking to mannequins. That's just uh -uh. freaking weird. And it's weird yeah. to be eating next to them. Like, that's just not that makes this way creepier i would be like hey way. what's up 
<laughs> I just think that is so you enjoying the weather. Bizarre. It's very bizarre. I don't know what people. Everybody's <laughs> lost their mind, you guys. Everybody has lost <laughs> their freaking mind. Yesterday during our show, the news came out that CNN was going to be hosting this town hall with corona about uh, facts and fears about coronavirus that is going to be featuring. Oh my God, Greta Thunberg. I, can't, I just I can't. This as is part not of their expert panel. I cannot. I can't. So, what? so what the, is happening? The guy that we work with, Jason Hammer, he <laughs> found this this graphic, and it has like, um, is it is it Je is it Jeff Bridges? No, it's um, yeah, I think it's is it Jeff Bridges? He was from Dumb. Who's the guy from Dumb and Dumber? Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. His hair's all crazy, and he's on the panel, <laughs> and then Elmo's on the panel, <laughs> and I'm like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that oh that would happen because <laughs> CNN is a freaking joke. CNN is a joke. In fact, That's we such have a, a story about that um, that we're going to be covering in our regular radio show about how they uh, posted a completely false statistic and then had to take that down because it was so false. Nobody cares. Because CNN is so absolutely and utterly useless. And I cannot believe that they get to continue to even be a, a station. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, they're the number three trusted source for coronavirus. According to Brian Stutler. According to the thumb. <laughs> He's the thumb, you guys. <laughs> what in the <laughs> world? Brian Stelter is a thumb. Um, you guys, Dakota Johnson, who you, guys, you may know from such things as being Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith's daughter. She was daughter. in Fifty Shades of Grey. She was in all the Fifty Shades movies. Yeah, that's pretty much all she's done. No, she did. She remember she did I that know, you really, be single. I love that she movie. She loves that movie. I love you guys. that movie. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew it. But she's done other things. Like so, what? I mean, she's like done that. that, and she's, she's done, done other that. things. And she's done that. <laughs> And she's done that. But she's done some things. She's done that, you she's guys. She's done other that things. That movie that you've never heard of. And then Fifty Shades. <laughs> and, and then she's dating Chris Martin, who yeah. you may know from such things as used to have been married to Gwyneth Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow until they consciously uncoupled. They did uncouple consciously and anyway, unconsciously. <laughs> Dakota Johnson is depressed. Um, like has actual depression. Well, she has struggled sad. with it since she was 15 or well, 14. That sucks. She was talking to Marie Claire about this in an interview. But her depression, in stark opposition to maybe your depression, mm -hmm. if you're out there and you have depression, yeah. hers is beautiful. It's beautiful, you guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> so it's magical. She's better than you. <laughs> well, I mean, she's a celebrity, so it's gonna hers she, is gonna be bedazzled. Her, <laughs> hers is gonna be bedazzled and beautiful, and it's gonna have a right. lot more, you know, it's gonna have a lot more stuff on it. Right. It's um, going to be nice. It's going to be prettier and it's going to have a lot more money wrapped up in it. Right. And because she mm -hmm. feels the world. Yeah, you don't do says. that. If you're depressed, your if you're depressed and you're not a celebrity, you don't you don't do that. Right. You're Yeah. It's kind of like how Ashley Judd doesn't have just migraines. Mm -hmm. She has siege, siege migraines. migraines. Hers are way different they're than like anybody else's. They're like celebrity <laughs> migraines. So they're way worse. They're, they're way worse. Way they require worse. so much botox. She looks like she's been stung by tracker jackers. <laughs> And it's way it's worse than a normal person's migraine. Just a minion's migraines. They're way worse. It's They're very so important So Dakota migraines. Johnson's depression is so much better than your depression. Because it's Can't beautiful. Can't you see? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So that's very, very different. Look at it. Um, Look also, at it. Also, waiting for Sharon Osbourne to get to feel the heat from backlash that she is inevitably going to get because she accidentally stated an obvious fact. Um, she weighed in on the whole Adele weight loss. And she thing. weighed in. I see what you did there. <laughs> I didn't even see what I did there. <laughs> she did. You see what she did there? She weighed in on it. I didn't even. On weight loss. I didn't even try to do that, you guys. I know. It just came right up. I totally saw what you did. So, so everybody's talking about Adele's weight loss, right? And so Sharon Osbourne, as you know, or maybe you don't know, she used to be a heavy yeah, woman. Yeah, she was pretty heavy. Um, here's a picture. Maybe you can see how see. she That was her with go. Ozzy, and then that's her now. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. she was an overweight yeah. woman. So she went through that. Mm -hmm. uh, she went through a big weight loss herself, and she said um, that when women say, like when over super overweight women say that they're super happy in their bodies, she doesn't believe them. And she says when people like her or like, like Adele lose a bunch of weight and they are happy about it, that's obvious right like people want to feel fit and healthy and trim and in good shape and that's like completely normal so she's saying that out loud which means that people are going to rip on her right people yeah. are going to rip her to shreds because she's saying just 
obviousness. I kind of feel like she will. I kind of feel like she will be an anomaly and not apologize, though. She better not apologize. She's, she just said nothing wrong. She's, you know, she's her. I feel like she won't apologize. I think that she's at the age, and she's also Sharon Osbourne. I feel like she has no craps to give. I mean, she's, she definitely doesn't. She's got some tood, right? Yeah, like she's, she to, she's always had sort of an attitude, and I don't think that she really cares what a lot of people think. So I Not like Brian Adams, who had to go and apologize and like, for ripping and, on China. And everybody, everybody in that industry is so self-conscious about what people think. I just don't think that she's going to care as much as the, the next person. I don't know, though, because she cares so much that she does a lot of plastic surgery. Like, a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's good. It's yeah, good plastic surgery. She has surgery. a great surgeon, she's you got guys. a great surgeon. It's a better surgeon than Ashley Judd's. But, <laughs> but she obviously cares about her own appearance. That's true. But, so, but, but that, maybe just but not what other people think about But it. I think that's different because, you know, Joan Rivers did, too. Joan Rivers cared a lot about her appearance. Her. I loved her. I loved Joan Rivers. She cared a lot about her appearance, but she didn't really give two flips about what people thought about her. She said all the things. So I think do you think at the I end, don't think they go hand in hand. Do you think that she knew? I mean, she she joked about her plastic surgery. Totally. But do you think that she knew How that she looked worse with it? I'm sure she did. I'm sure that she did. Really? Yeah. Cause she kept doing it. Yeah, like she kept I think you become like it. addicted to doing it. Yeah, you know, once you start doing it, and once you start doing that, you can't go back. Like, right? At least some undoable. of the fillers and stuff. I think people can undo. Like Courtney Cox, she started doing too much of it, and then she yeah. was like, "I just stopped doing it for a few years." Then she went back to normal. Cause that just those don't last. You right? can those dissolve, I guess. But like a lot of the the surgeries, you can't dissolve a surgery. No, I mean that's you just become all Michael Jacksonified. That's done. Yeah, you're done though when you, you gotta, do that. You gotta <laughs> just not. Um, what else is going on? I love Joan Rivers too. I loved her. She just said oh, the all Michael the things. Flynn I just stuff. loved her. So the Flynn judge, we told you this yesterday, how he was like, um, I'm gonna have some friends of the court weigh in on this. Well, now he's called in an anti-Trump lawyer uh, to argue the against the government's motion to dismiss. Because they just won't let this, they just will not let this die. They just won't. Hey, Rob. Hey. Good morning. Yo. Hi. Hi. Your hair is growing so fast. I know. I know. I wish mine grew that fast. <laughs> good Lord. I mean, it's just growing like a weed. Yeah, Jane Fonda has a good surgeon, too. Very good point, Lee. She I think really it was Lee. Does. I can barely read she that. Really, but you guys, does. Melissa Etheridge's son died of oh an my, opioid overdose. Oh my God! How 21. old? Twenty-one. Oh my God! So sad. Because isn't that the kid that she had with like the dude from um, who was that singer that she used as I don't a know, sperm guy? You always guy? do this Tom to me. Petty. And I don't. No, it wasn't Tom Petty. It was that really. Oh my God! David Bowie. No, no, it was another guy. It was the guy from Gary uh, Glitter. Crosby Still. Yes, it was Crosby. Still, yeah, um, David, Crosby, David Crosby. David Crosby. Was it was David, David Crosby? Stevens Stills. I, which is the guy? No, that, the heavier set guy in yeah. CSN. I think it was David Crosby, yeah. you guys. Oh, my that was, God. That was the, the father. Nils Lofgren. Uh, but I don't think he was a father, right? No, he wasn't the father. He wasn't a, like a father. He right. was just the sperm donator. Yeah. Oh, John Mellencamp. Oh, my God. We got it, Rob! Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. That <laughs> sucks. Yeah. So his name was Beckett, and he is gone now. Which is really sad. God, that sucks. That just sucks. I just, oh my God, that's awful. Yeah. That is awful. Anyway, that happened. So that happened. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any other. Addiction is hereditary, news. somebody said. Addiction is hereditary. I do believe that in a lot of cases. But then sometimes it's not. Sometimes kids just, you know, they do that. Oh, and one of those Olsen twins, the one that was married to the French guy that was really tall. That would be uh, Mary Kate. Mary yes. Kate is married to the, the old dude. Except not anymore. She because, got a divorce? Well, she's asking for an emergency divorce from this guy because he, he's already kicked her out of the house, apparently, and they haven't been living together. But the court said, well, we can't give you a divorce because of coronavirus. And so, like, so you have to live with this guy you want a divorce? <laughs> so you can't get an actual divorce. So she is now, she tried to file for divorce in April, and they said, well, we can't do anything about it right now. So she got an emergency court order to shove things through more quickly because she is a celebrity. Again, she is a priority. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's um, true. So apparently his lawyers asked her to leave the home by May 18th, but she asked for an extension. So I think that they're still living together, which is super awkward. That they've is, only been married five years. Well, I'm sure they have different wings of the house. Well, that's true. I think he's, he brought money into the marriage, too. He's 50, and she's 33. And he's... 
He's What's icky. the word? What's the word, <laughs> Mock? What are you what are you trying to say? I was trying to say icky and then that's what came out. <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, All right. see? Look. Okay. He <laughs> He reminds me of a cartoon character. He I reminds I me of the brother from Everyone Loves Raymond. Oh, not at all. He you don't think? No, that guy, does, he's, he's not icky. He's not icky. He reminds me and of... And she is so icky. Remember when we used to like make fun of the way that they would make their lips and they you say, say prune? prune? If you say prune while you're smiling, you make a Mary and they're always like face, so it's prune. And they always, That's how you they, do their lips. they always pose with like their cheekbones. Have you noticed that? Well, I don't know how you pose without them. No, but they suck in. Oh, they, they suck, suck in. in. Uh-huh. They suck in. Have you noticed that? It's so bizarre. And they're... And they always look sad. Well, yeah, like, they always they, look so... Well, I mean, they had... Dramatic. They had no childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I would be sad, too. But they're like gajillionaires, right? Yeah, but th money isn't everything. Is the other one married? I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of it, but when you have no childhood, it's like, here's a gajillion dollars. <laughs> Sorry about your failed childhood. Well, I mean, yeah, she I don't got know. married, so I mean, apparently she's had some happiness really? in her life. Has she? I don't know, because I feel like when you marry somebody who's like 20 years older than you and you didn't have a childhood, you're, you're kind looking of, you're looking dad. for a dad. Just a hunch. What well, I don't know about the other sister. Um, That's Ashley. Yeah. Ashley. I don't, I don't know if yeah, she, I don't, uh, I don't know And they're both there. very, very rich, and now Mary-Kate Olsen is getting an emergency divorce. I guess. She has a court order to do that. Yeah. So that is also happening. Um, okay. I think that's really about it. We've got some more stupid sound bites to play from Joe Biden, which is always fun. So what? what They're we... making fun of our faces. <laughs> it's easy to do. You that. can do it too. It's All easy. you do: smile, yeah. say prune. Yeah, that is the only awesome thing. Prune. Yeah, that's how you do the. It's not quite duck lips. Yeah. Um, but it's like a very. And then J Lo, J Lo does a specific um, photographic face too. Yeah, she She's like, like gets her eyes all squinty, and then she just looks mad, sort of, but like a sexy. That's J -Lo's. mad. Like she has to look sexy mad. Mm -hmm. It's always like, like, yeah, she always has that like the same face like for mexy. every. She's mexy. <laughs> She's mexy, you guys. She's very, very mexy. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> face. Same face for every picture. Seriously, you're gonna notice it now. You're welcome. Oh yeah. You're gonna and notice she does it. it so purposefully and she yeah. does this thing with she's her like, mouth. It's like the whole it's like a whole thing. It's like she's kind of pissed, but not really. You know? A <laughs> little constipated. Mixed yeah, in there. Like uncomfortable. Yeah, like, like I maybe something's too like tight. Like I haven't pooped today. <laughs> I don't know what it is and need to. I mean it's okay, J Lo. Anyway, it's all right. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to talk about the Flynn thing and this California um, election. We got some Biden clips to play, which are hilarious mm -hmm. as usual. Um, and some De Niro clips, some Howard Stern. Howard Everybody's going to be so Everybody's, excited about the De Niro clips. He is once again talking out loud. Mm -hmm. um, and then what airlines are doing about masks. We're going to get into that Basically, as well. Basically, all the airlines are requiring masks now. If you get on an airplane, you have to wear a mask. Except that they're not because. Um, they are sort of requiring it, but then they're also being told if someone chooses to not wear one on a flight, you're not allowed Listen, as an attendant to force them. You're going to be shamed. I mean, that's you're fine. You're going to be shamed. But then if other passengers start to shame you, the attendants are supposed to put the kibosh on them There's as well. There are going to be fist fights There's going to be fights. Planes. Yeah, like just this is wait for it. We're gonna we're gonna hear stories like in the next couple weeks. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, we're gonna be talking to you about fist fights on planes because of masks. Because there, yeah, because there will be people who will be like, I'm not wearing a mask. Yeah, and then people will be like, "Why aren't you wearing a mask? You're That's endangering so a mask. me." And then yeah, and there are gonna be there are gonna be fights on planes. Mm -hmm. Mark my words. Oh, it's gonna be ugly. Gonna There's be... gonna be fights everywhere. Yeah, I mean, because of masks. Those are contained spaces, which is yeah. bad. Meanwhile, but, like... like Fauci has said 18 different things about masks. <laughs> We've gotten so many mixed messages about them, but yeah, there will be so much mask shaming. It's out of control. And I'm having still the biggest fight on Twitter with someone about masks. She's fighting with somebody about I can't masks, stop. you guys. If you want to check out our Twitter feed right now, she's you fighting with somebody. You should follow us on Twitter, Chicks on Right. Yeah, you should um, be following us on Twitter and Instagram at Chicks on Right. For real. Like, if you're not doing that, what's wrong? What's happening? You should be doing that. Yeah, this is a great question. If I choose not to wear a mask, is it still my body, my choice, or does that only apply to killing babies? It's Fair a great question. Great question. It's a really great question. Fair question. Mm -hmm. There's yes, somebody it's that was wearing a di like a like a CD that said antivirus on it <laughs> as a mask. <laughs> So it's got like a hole right over your mouth, I right? Love, I and then love they put rubber person. bands somehow on it, and then that was their mask. I love that person. 
I do. I love that, that was person. Perfect. Maxine Waters. We're going to be talking about her today. I'm sorry, but she um, is horrible. Yeah, she's she's but absolutely honest. horrible. She is honest. She's like, you know, our governors are under great stress. The protests that have been organized, the protests trying to intimidate our governors to open up everything, our protests where the people are participating in that should be ashamed of themselves. Yes, but the key line is, I don't want to see these establishments opened back up. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I said, she's honest. That's the key line, but I think the key line is that these protester, protesters should be ashamed of themselves, as if we're not allowed to protest, oh as God. if people aren't allowed to like say anything against their government. She can suck it. I gotta go back to this fight, you guys. Yeah. Gotta go back. All right. All right. Um, I guess that's it, because I have to go continue this Yeah, fight. I need some more coffee. <laughs> you guys, we hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Bring it in. Bring it in! One more day! <laughs> One more day. Bye! Bye, guys.